Are you ever wondered how to accurately track conversions from your Google Ads to your website across multiple devices or browsers? Well, you're in luck because today we're diving into the world of the conversion linker into Google Tag Manager. First off, what exactly is a conversion linker? Uh, it's a snippet of code added to your tracking tags within Google Ads and uh, you can configure it in Google Tag Manager. And the primary role is to ensure that conversions are correctly attributed to the right ads, even when a user hops between different uh, devices or browsers. And in this quick guide, I will show you how to install the conversion linker in Google Tag Manager. So first you need to be uh, logged in into your Google Ads account. Uh, then you go, I'm sorry, into your Google Tag Manager account. Then you need to go to Tags and you click on New. Then you give the tag a name. Then you will click on Tag Configuration and here you will need to search for the conversion linker. This you can uh, leave on default. And as a trigger, we want to trigger the conversion linker on all pages. This means the conversion linker will work across your entire website. And click on save. And now you've added the conversion linker to your Google Tag Manager account. And now I will show you a example of how uh, this would work. So you will need to go to the preview modus. Here you can test your website. And we, after the website URL, we're gonna add some parameters like this. Uh, this is a GC lid. But there are also similar parameters for tracking your ads. This GZLit or other parameter are attached by your ads, allowing the conversion linker to link conversions back to the specific campaign that uh, drove them. So when you're searching for a uh, for an ad, you will see after the in the link, you will find the GZLit or another par parameter. So in this case, we're gonna test uh, with a random uh, number. Press on connect and now your website will be connected. And now we're gonna search for the cookies, for the first party cookies that you've just added. Go to inspect, then you will need to go to application and here you will uh, click on cookies and here you will need to search for the GZLit. Right, it's right here. As a first party cookie, this value is stored uh, because of the conversion linker and the conversion, uh, and the conversion linker can then link this back to your Google Ads campaign. In simple terms, when someone uh, clicks on your ad and lands on your website, the conversion linker makes sure that any actions they uh, take, like making a purchase, are tracked back to that ad. So it's an essential step for your Google Ads conversion tracking. This way, you know exactly which ads are working hard for you. Setting up a conversion linker in Google Tag Manager might sound complex, but it's very easy to do. You only have to set a few steps and you're ready to go. And that's it. I've shown you how to set up the conversion linker in Google Tag Manager.